Our experience at Patriots Colony started in 2004 when we moved from Hawaii. We'd spent 30 years there. We moved in just like anyone else with the vision of coming and starting a new segment of our lives. It didn't take long to get adjusted and we found that we hadn't really lost all those friends. We'd gained a lot more. We just have a good life here, yeah. So I would say my activities are around golf, uh, bocce ball, pool, and uh, eating out with my friends lunch a lot. And I do a lot of uh, volunteer work. I have people down in assisted living and convalescent that I try to visit at least once a week just to stop in and say hello. Well, we moved to Patriots Colony because we wanted to come here while we were healthy. We wanted to enjoy the activities and we kind of consider this a gift to our children so that when we get to the point that we need more care, they won't have to worry about where we are. We decided we would come down here to Williamsburg because it has the atmosphere, brick buildings, you know, quaint and uh, there's lots of activities. They've got uh, Colonial Williams close by, which reminds us a lot of New England. It is very convenient. The airports are close by. We know family will come. If they're not coming to visit us. They may be going to Williamsburg or Bush Gardens or some other place in the area. What I like about Patriots County, pretty much everything. It's just a really well-run facility. We've been so pleased with it over the years. It's a place where you can leave your parents and feel comfortable that they're safe Somebody's looking after them. They're getting good meals every day. They keep this place immaculate. It's always clean. They update it all the time. It's really a good physical facility. And the people here have really done a good job of taking care of the, their families. They let you be you. You do what you want to do. Now today at 3.30, we have happy hour. Very, very well done. Hors d'oeuvres, open bar. They do it right. I was ordained and I invited my one daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I think one of the main reasons that we chose Patriots Colony was because they have the independent care, which I would love to move into sometime. Mom's in the assisted living facility, but they also have a convalescent center and a memory care unit. So I knew that once she was here, that was it. I wouldn't have to um, move her anywhere else, that they would be able to accommodate all her needs. And another big advantage is they have an in-house physician. So the doctor's appointment's right here. She can just walk down from her apartment and see the doctor. And also, um, if she did have to spend any time convalescing, again, the facility was right here. And it's the familiarity that would be good for her and the ease for me as well. So that was huge. I was looking for a place that had everything right here. have to leave this property to have activities. You could, you could be busy all the time and you could have your hair done, your nails done, our meals are taken care of, our maintenance is taken care of, our housekeeping. So it's really a wonderful place and I'm very happy that I'm here. Wow, the activities here are just amazing. And I don't just mean the quantity of activities because we have well over 20 clubs. In fact, our residents will many times say this is like going back to college without having to take the test. You know, the thing is, there's probably not too many places that you can come to and go to work and be jealous of the people that you serve. But genuinely, the people here have such a great time and are able to really grow at a very important time in their life like they've never been able to. The location, the people, the staff, Golly, it's hard to say what all we have because it, 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 it's phenomenal. We have close to 20 dogs, all sizes, from chocolate labs to seven and a half pound dogs. 
I am the activities coordinator and I get so much joy from my job because I'm bringing other people joy. So on a daily basis, we do a variety of different activities. We have different trivia games. We do bingo, which uh, our residents love to do. <laughs> we do bingo, we do trivias, we do socials, we celebrate birthdays. We do different socials like happy hour, which is probably the most popular activity we have <laughs> that all the residents love to come to and enjoy each other's company. We dance, we have music, we have different entertainers come in, different bands, and just try to make every day a great time. I love working at Patriots Colony because we are a family. We treat each other as family. We celebrate each other as family, each other's success, even when it comes to working with the residents. We treat them just like they're our brother, our sister, our uncle, our mother. We try to make it feel like home for them as much as possible. Our staff is very welcoming. They really try to accommodate the residents as, as much as possible. This is your new home and we try our hardest to make it feel like your new home. If we have any problems in maintenance, we call and usually have a pretty rapid response. The housekeeping, the same. We are very fond of them. I was just delayed coming up here seeing the housekeeper I had before who has a new grandchild and we're looking at her grandchild on her cell phone. And the dining people are also fantastic from the waitresses all the way up. Very accommodating and friendly and just a happy place. Everyone here is either former military officer or former government employee at a, of a certain level. It's excellent. The people have the backgrounds. We have people who commanded divisions, aircraft carriers. We have people that solve major problems for the government. And just as important, most of them, after they left the military or government employment, went on and rose and did very well in industry. So it's, it's a group, it's a tremendous group. The, the real common bond here is that all the people that come into independent living have served the country in some way or another. And because they have such a service background, they really help each other in both good times and bad. They're here because they're retired, they've earned a place to be here, and they want to have a good time. Well, Patriots Colony is 20 years old, and it started with a vision of some military officers and Riverside Healthcare System. And now we're embarking on a multi-year expansion uh, where we're going to be able to serve uh, up to another 150 people in independent living. So with assisted living and with our nursing home, uh, you can be anybody that, that has a need, we will see you here. But what's most important is that we make sure that we create a culture that's vibrant and um, meaningful to, uh, to the employees, uh, just as much to them as, as it is to the residents. Well, it's been a real honor for me to, to be here. Um, you know, I'm ex-military myself and coming to an organization that um, serves uh, prior military officers and federal uh, employees uh, and the community of Williamsburg, uh, it's just been great to, to, to give back. We don't live in the past. We live today and we look forward to what we're gonna to do tomorrow. We've got a rule here, it's a great rule. It says, leave your rank at the gate. It's marvelous because everyone here greets everyone as another individual. Well, unlike a lot of un other retirement communities, they draw mainly from people that live in that particular area. Here at Patriots Colony, we get people from all over the United States. We've had people from over 40 different states move to Patriots Colony. We've had them come from Hawaii after living on the water, retired for 30 years. And then we've had them come from Russia after 19 years of service, all for the U.S. And it really is something that these people talk to each other and they tell each other, this is the place you want to be.
to come to Patriots Colony as an independent living person, you have to be in one of the categories of, of officer or, or um, federal employee. On the healthcare side, we're a little unusual compared to many CCRCs, and that is we are a organization that says, hey, if you have a healthcare need uh, for memory care and you're not associated with the military or the government, we still want to take care of you. And so today, a large number of our, our patients and residents that are in memory care, for example, or in our rehab care, uh, are not associated with the military or the government. About a year ago, uh, December 26, 2015, uh, day after Christmas, I went for a bike ride on my mountain bike and I crashed, crashed and burned. I broke my hip in six places. I can remember the day I got here, two of the therapists were, were standing outside. They greeted me and uh, took me in, took me to my room, uh, and, uh, and then I was issued a walker and, uh, and then told me basically what to expect. They were, they were so, um, you know, so gentle with you and, uh, and can appreciate uh, where you are. I'm so grateful for these people for, for being here and uh, for Patriots Colony being here and uh, be able to have a, a place like this that is very close to my home uh, uh, and being able to, um, uh, my wife came and visited every day. We've got two dogs, she brought the dogs and uh, they're welcome here. It was a good experience. Um, so I'm the rehab director here at Patriots Colony. Been here since 2003. Um, it, during that time, personally, I've grown up here. As soon as I walked through the doors at Patriots Colony, I just knew it was the right place, though. Everything here felt so much better than what I ever pictured. For our inpatient services, we have our skilled nursing facility. Uh, we treat uh, people post-surgery, um, post-illness. We also have outpatient services here. Those services are reserved for people that live here at Patriots Colony. Uh, outpatient physical therapy, speech therapy, and occupational therapy. Um, work with, with our folks from independent living and assisted living and convalescent center. Patriots Colony is a very active place, so we get um, a lot of sports injuries. Um, even with the older adults, we have people with uh, back injuries, shoulder injuries from playing pickleball, playing golf, all the different types of uh, injuries like that. People love coming to, to our rehab because the atmosphere is so positive. Um, the rehab gym is surrounded in windows. We all get a lot of sunlight, a lot of vitamin D. The camaraderie between the patients is outstanding because a lot of them are going through very similar things and it's always nice to go through things with somebody that's going through something similar. Our therapy is typically very functional based. Um, so we're really working on all those um, things that people need to do to get back home. who had been suffering from dementia, fell and broke her hip. And the doctors all said she can't go back home. She has to be in a place where she can get uh, uh, continuous care and, uh, and maintenance physical therapy. And we chose to bring her here to the convalescent center at Patriots Colony. And uh, they, they came highly recommended to us, so we chose to bring her here. And after a short while of that and me com commuting, I decided to uh, move in myself so that I could be close by and uh, actually be a part of the team that was taking care of her. The assisted living facility here was, seemed like the ideal thing for me. It's close by under the same roof, just a few minutes walk away, so it's very convenient. I, actually, after living here a while, I've kind of adjusted to it and uh, I think it was a good decision. I, it's, uh, it's a great place to live. Uh, I tell people it's a little bit like living on a cruise ship that never leaves the dock. Mom has dementia and um, it's been a difficult thing for me watching this happen. Because of the, the care of the CNAs, the housekeeping staff, the nurses, even when she was an independent, the housekeeping staff knows what's going on with mom. It made me feel better that, you know, if something were to happen, if she were to have a fall, that um, she'd be discovered even when she was in independent. And since so she's been in assisted living and, and Springhouse, obviously that, that monitoring has gone up considerably. 
and I think it's it is a nice secure location. The uh, the spring house is is secure um, from the sense of in and out. You need a, an ID card, and that's helpful that you know mom's not going to get into trouble wandering or other residents can this happen. And people ask me, they say, how's your mom doing? And my reaction is she's in the right place. We're giving her the care that she needs, care she deserves, and also too, it's the care that she chose back when she decided to come here in 2004. I think my wife is getting outstanding care. Uh, I've been more impressed uh, with uh, the care she gets down there than actually I had anticipated. Uh, we do have uh, private duty uh, Riverside nursing support for her here, which is, is, can be arranged and managed right here in this building. It has everything you need right here, and uh, it's a great place to live.